Hello and welcome to a new video, my name is Emilio and today I'm going to be talking about the best animation apps for the iPad. So if you want to become an animator and you want to start creating some really cool animations and you have an iPad, then this video is for you because I'm going to show you the best apps that you can use to start creating your own animations. So I hope you like this video and let's go watch it. So this is the first application we are going to be talking about. The name of this app is Flip a Clip. Uh, probably a lot of you already know it. This is a free app that you can get for your iPad. Also, you can get the premium features and you can also add the bundle if you want to get all the features for Flip a Clip. So I've done some really simple animations before and the app really works pretty well. So as you can see you can create a lot of stuff and if you put the effort and the time i'm sure you can create really really amazing animations one thing i really like is that creating projects is pretty simple you can also add your own images so you can create your own background in this case i'm adding a 3d background and other thing that is pretty cool is that you get all these presets for social media so if you want to create a tiktok or instagram it's pretty simple to do that we can also go from 1 frame per second to 30 frames per second and in this case I'm going to create just a 12 frames per second animation. So as you can see the interface is pretty clean, it's pretty simple and you have pretty much everything you need to start animating. One thing that is lacking is the brushes. It has only 4 brushes but I think you can still do a lot of stuff and you can create really cool animations if you are creative enough. So I'm just going to show you really quick what you can do with the app. You can create your next keyframes pretty easy with just a click and keep animating. You have the onion skin like all the other animation apps and it's pretty easy to use the app. One thing I don't really like about this app is that it has a lot of advertisement and a lot of commercials especially if you don't have the pro version, which is pretty annoying. Other than that, I think you can do really cool stuff, like this animation. Also, you get other tools like the bucket tool, a text tool that will help you create text pretty easily. And you can manipulate the text, which is pretty cool. And it saves you a lot of time if you want to write stuff and create some text. Also, you have the lasso tool. This is a really good tool because it helps you manipulate drawings without having to draw every single frame. You can copy and paste frames and add layers like a lot of other animation apps. You can also change some settings like the onion skin and the grid if you don't like working with the grid. But if you like having it, you can also turn it on. And to make a movie, it's pretty easy. Just go make a movie and create your first animation. And this is the first app, so let's go to the next app. This next application, you probably know it because it's pretty famous and very popular. This is mostly a painting app, but I really like it because it also has this animation tool. It comes to a price of $13.99, but I think it's totally worth it because it's just a one-time payment. The good thing is that it has a lot of brushes and I think that's the best thing about this application. So you can make really cool animations with some uh, really impressive texture and you can do a lot, a lot of stuff with different brushes. The animation tool is actually pretty simple, to be honest. I don't think this is a, an animation app. I wouldn't go for it if you just wanted to do animation. But if you like painting and you like maybe to create some paintings that move or create some animation, then just go for Procreate because I think you can do a lot of stuff. So you have the same settings that all the other apps. You have the frames per second, the onion skin. You also can change the onion skin opacity and the onion skin color. So that's a pretty cool thing because sometimes you are drawing in a certain color and your onion skin might be the same color and it's pretty hard to see. So it's pretty easy to add frames with just one click. It's also very easy to duplicate frames and you have the option to add a foreground and a background layer, which is pretty useful if you want to do an environment for your character. The coloring the character is so easy and you just drag and drop the color. This is something I really love about Procreate. I also want to mention that if you want to learn how to use Procreate and you want to learn how to animate in Procreate, I have a video where I show you how to animate with this app, so go check it out after this video. 
You can also loop and ping pong your animation so you can visualize your animation in different forms, which is pretty cool. One thing I don't like about Procreate is that it doesn't have the visualization of the layers like in the other applications, which makes it pretty hard if you like working with layers. You can also export as a GIF and you can export movies and mp4 files. You can also play your animations from 1 frame to 60 frames per second, which gives you a lot of more control and a lot of more frames. Exporting and creating movies is also very simple and you can share it with your favorite social media. This next app is worth mentioning, the name is Flippad. And I really like this app because it's super simple to use. You can also get a pro version for just $2.79, which is actually pretty cheap. The pro version includes up to a thousand frames in each scene, high definition, and custom color and palettes. So that makes it a pretty decent app, especially for the price that is $2.79. To create a new scene is pretty simple, you just go to new scene and you have up to 30 frames per second. You can also choose the size, but this is not the pro version, so you are very limited. One thing I really like about Flippad is the interface. It's actually pretty comfortable and easy to use. As you can see, I can just draw with my right hand and with my left hand I can just move to the next frame, which makes it super intuitive and easy to move and makes your workflow really, really fast. As you can see, this has a lot of problems, especially this uh, free version. It has a lot of bugs and a lot of things don't work properly. So that's why I don't really love this app and I don't really use it a lot but I'm sure with the pro version is much better I have used it before and I think it's much better with the pro version as you can see you can create animations and it's super simple guys like you can go play around and I really enjoy this button that makes you flip through the latest drawing and this is the way people used to flip their drawings when they were drawing with paper so you would flip with the fingers and this is pretty much the same tool that they used to do so i really enjoy this tool especially in uh, this application that none other apps really have this this tool and i think it's pretty cool so there you go this is the animation it doesn't look great i've done way better animation but it was just a test i messed up a bit the size but it's okay so, in uh, summary, I think this is a really good app, if you want to try it, maybe you should try the free version and if you want to go pro, I think this is a pretty good app to go pro because you can do a lot of animations and to be honest, it's one of the best layouts out there. Also, I enjoy the timeline and it's just really intuitive and easy to use. One more thing is that you can hold your frames for several frames like in other apps but this is just super simple and if you are a beginner I would really recommend to start with something like this that is just simple and it's just to start animating. The next app is called Rough Animator and this is getting way better guys. This is just for $4.99 you get like a really pro version for an animation app. As you can see, this has a lot of things. I'm using a small iPad, so I don't really love the layout. I prefer something way more simpler. But if you have a, an iPad Pro or a bigger iPad, then this is a perfect app for you. This app pretty much has everything you need to create animations. Even if you're going for really complicated animations, or you really, really want to push yourself and create an action scene or something, this app has absolutely everything and every single tool that you need to start creating your awesome animation. I really love how you can paint really easy and this is one of my favorite things about this application is the camera. You can actually animate the camera and create animations with the camera. So this helps you a lot, especially in action scenes or in very complicated shots. As you can see, you can just create better camera movements and really cool stuff with this app. One thing I don't really like is that it doesn't have a lot of brushes, but it's not a big problem because you can add your own brushes. So that makes it pretty cool because you can actually have infinite amount of brushes and you can use brushes from Photoshop, etc. So 
that's pretty good and you can also change the frame rate and you have absolutely every single thing you need to create awesome animation so for just $4.99 you can get this app and to be honest this is pretty much all you need if you want to become an animator and practice with your iPad. I think this is a really really good deal and it's gonna help you to practice and start creating really cool stuff. So I would really recommend you to get this one. The next app is my favorite. This is called Calipeg and this is an amazing app. I really like the simplicity and just for $14.99 a year you can get the license and if you prefer to just have a one-time payment you can get the full application for $55. I know it is expensive for some and some might not have the money but if it's something that you really really want to pursue animation then get the app. This is a really powerful app and you can do a lot of stuff. Especially for the iPad, I think this is amazing app. You have a lot of brushes that will help you create really cool animation and give texture to your animation and drawings. You also have several tools like transformation and different kind of tools that will help you create better stuff. And the layers are really powerful. You can do sound, you can do video and you can do transformation layers. And this is something really awesome because you can transform your layers. As you can see, I'm doing here an example with the leg. Basically, I'm just scaling my leg and then I'm making it pretty, pretty small. But I'm not affecting the drawings that I have. As you can see, I'm just affecting the leg, but with a transformation layer. So this doesn't destroy my drawing and this helps me manipulate and do stuff with my animation that will make it much better. And you can also animate the curves and move the curves around. To create a new shot is pretty simple and as you can see you have these presets for sizes. You can also make your custom size in case you want to make it a square or change the shape of your animation. You can go frames per second really high and you can also have different number of shots. So you're not just creating one shot, you can create several shots in one document. To draw is pretty simple, it really looks pretty familiar and looks pretty similar to Procreate, the interface. The big difference is that this is made for animators. So Procreate is mostly for painters and for people to draw that like to draw, but this is an app made for animators. It's a really powerful app to be honest. Also, you can add reference the same way you add reference in Procreate. In this case, you can add maybe a cycle or a planification of your animation to make stuff easier. Also, you can add sound, video, and it's pretty simple to add it. You just go to the arrow over here and then just go to your files or your photo album and just import your video. In this case I'm just adding an example of a simple animation I did a long time ago and there you go you have animation. So maybe you can animate on top of a video or polish your animation I don't know but this is really really cool app so I really really recommend this one. If you enjoyed this video and you like it or you learned something don't forget to subscribe to the channel give it a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!